Welcome to Grossmoor National Park in Newfoundland and Labrador, home to more moose per square kilometer than almost any place on Earth. So if you want to see a moose, this is where you start. Although, sometimes the beautiful scenery gets in the way. Today, I get my moose on. This is Fred Shepard, and he's with Parks Canada. Hello, Fred. How are you? Good to meet you, Rick. Good to see you, sir. I'm very excited. Today, we are going to go looking for moose, correct? That's right. You're going to join the moose monitoring team in Grossmoor National Park. Yes, I am indeed. Now, Grossmoor National Park, people know it from the Canadian tourism commercials, the Newfoundland Labrador tourism commercials. It's a spectacular site. That's right. It's one of 42 national parks in Canada. Yeah. It's yeah. a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And there's a lot of moose. How many moose, Fred? There's about 5,000 moose in Grossmoor <laughs> National Park. That's a lot of moose. Yeah, the the place is maggoty with moose. There's, there's more moose here than there are people in the communities in the park. Right, and so we are going to go out there and we're going to, well, we're not going to count them because there's too many. What, we're monitoring them. We're That's monitoring right. their behavior. That's right. How far do we normally have to go before we see a moose? I'd say about another four minutes or so, four or five minutes. Oh, that, that close, eh? There's a big moose. Wow. Do you need any help with that? No, I'm good, thanks. This is very close to the ground. This is why you never outrun a police helicopter. Wow. Now he's getting a little sleepy. There we go. Good night. Oh, she drools, eh? Where are the teeth gone? Is there garlic in Grossmoor National Park? Not that I know. I don't know, boy. I think there is. Okay, look, that's a nice set of teeth. There's a Canadian conundrum. <laughs> what do you do when the lube freezes? <laughs> so I just lift the tail and take the temperature. Okay. Where's the tail gone? 38.4 degrees Celsius. Perfect. Perfect. What next? Fecal sample. All right. This is why I went into show business. Okay, now I can... Well, uh, done. Oh. Okay, now, hair samples. These hair samples will teach you what? These ones we're cutting, I we're looking for, it's a measure of long-term stress. Does that look like a stressed out moose? Um, we'll have to wait and see. Oh, you have to take that to the lab? Exactly. From the tip of her nose, okay, I see ya. 260 centimeters. Perfect. That's about the length of a couch. Is it? Yeah. Should we do her inseam? And this is Dr. Tom Knight. He's an expert in all things moose. Now, people don't realize this, but moose are not native to Newfoundland, right? They showed up in, like, 1904. That's right. They're when introduced. my people showed up. <laughs> That's right. They were introduced specifically for food for Newfoundlanders, actually. And they bred That's like crazy. Country. That's right. Like my people. <laughs> Yeah, they came. There's lots of food, lots of space. And, and Newfoundlanders certainly well. use them as food. How many are hunted every year? I think about 25,000 a year taken. That's a lot. Yeah. But still, yeah. there's a gigantic moose population in the there province. There is, yeah. Yeah, there's a very large, uh, over 150,000. Come on. Wow. That's one. Newfoundland is a half province, this is what they mean. This is what we have. This is astounding. There's so many moose. Once you look into the woods and your eyes adjust, it's like, there's a moose, there's a moose, there's a moose, moose, moose. It's amazing. They're everywhere. They're literally on both sides of the helicopter. There's probably a hundred moose. Get her. Whoa, that was unbelievable. You had the wildest job ever. I'm 
literally whispering sweet nothings into a moose's ear. It's all right, my darling. It's all right. Soon you wake up, you'll run away, and you'll have a story about being abducted by aliens that none of your moose friends would believe. That's pretty good. You're walking along, you go to sleep, you wake up, you got your ears pierced, and you got a new necklace. I'd say she's got about a 38 waist. You're big boned. Okay, my darling. Time to go. There you go. That wasn't too bad. Oh. <laughs> she opened her eyes. She wasn't really sure what happened. And she saw me and she went, oh, I spent the night with him. And then she ran. Call me. She won't call. It's the way it rolls. You're watching the Mercer Report on CBC. Where's more?